Hey guys, we're going to talk today about how your uh, how your form impacts those injuries you might be having, specifically with your forearm, with your tennis elbow and your dominant arm. If you're a, a righty, uh, rarely, I've never actually heard of someone having tennis elbow in their non-dominant arm. It's always their dominant arm. So we're going to focus on two strokes that can help alleviate that pain. And then we'll go into, if that doesn't help, I have a, I'll have another video that kind of discusses the other aspect of why the arm problems could be. But let's just talk about those two strokes, okay? So instead of, and it's all about, instead of talking about I'm right-handed, instead of talking about the right arm and what you're doing with the right arm with your swing, we're going to actually talk about the left arm. So we're going to talk about the forehand and the serve, specifically with how you hit your, with how do you use your non-dominant hand. So when I see a lot of players on their forehand, and I, I warn them ahead of time when I'm like I feed balls in a group lesson, or I'm telling, or maybe a kid's learning the sport, and I watch them, and I go, hey, there, there's a problem with your forehand, and it's all about using your left arm. If I drop my left arm, it's really hard to use it, and it's not necessarily you're going to use your left arm, you're going to use your shoulder. So if you're using, if my watch my my racket, my racket is moving, right, but this is not. So my shoulder is not moving. That means all the impact of the of my swing comes through my arm, and you won't see this tennis. They call it tennis elbow for a reason. Baseball, you're using two hands, right? Golf, you're using two hands. So the whole reason, like tennis elbow, happens is when you're having this one hand and you're only using it. So I'm not saying hit a two-handed forehand, but I am saying get your arm up and use it more. So the first thing you want to do is watch what Roger Federer does, and he has his arm up like this, okay? You can do many things. I've seen players point to the ball, and the racket's back over here, or something like that, but as long as the arm is up and they're looking over, their chin is over their non-dominant shoulder. So I'm right-handed, I'm looking over my left shoulder. And then when I swing, watch what happens. I'm gonna get my shoulder, this arm is gonna get out of the way, so that the path of my right arm can follow that. So I'm gonna swing through that spot all the way across, and now my chin is on my right arm. If you watch uh, Djokovic, his swing is very, very loose and very uh, controlled with his center. He's, he's moving his center very, very well. And that just allows him to hit a lot of balls without getting tired because your arm is not as strong as your core and your shoulders. And we, we're not even talking about the legs right now, but the main idea is if I can go shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder, I won't have any pain in my arm or not nearly as much if I can do that. The other part of that then is when you start doing that, I remember hitting with someone, he was kind of rusty and finally he was hitting, he's like, oh, finally I, I don't feel my arm, I don't feel the impact in my arm. And that means he's turning really well and rotating, okay? So he's rotating through the ball really, really well. So keep that in mind for the forehand. My left arm is here. So you might want to have somebody feed a ball and then you can drop it. So I would say, if somebody feeds you a ball to you, grab it, now you're set, drop it, and swing. And then when you do that, you're able to see that shoulder turn. Again, so when you catch it here, drop it, and swing through the ball. And then you can see that big shoulder turn that I'm going through. So that's gonna help you uh, alleviate that sh that pain in the arm because you're using that left arm and using your shoulders and core. Same thing on the serve. So the second stroke I want to mention is the serve. When I go up for a serve and I'm here, I see a lot of players open up too much. So that's your rotator cuff when you do that. Okay, that's a pitching motion. We don't want to do that. All right. So players will open up and they'll drop their arm. And this doesn't allow, as you can imagine, the shoulder to turn. So my arm is moving, but my shoulder, watch my left shoulder, this is not moving. So I see this, and then I see this. So that, or even across, right? And that's your rotator cuff again. So a lot of pain in the shoulder of the arm when you're not using the left arm. So I know this isn't technically correct, but this is a good stepping stone, is to throw the ball up and try to catch, try to, when you serve the ball, try to hit your left arm. So what I mean by that is you're throwing the ball up, and you're throwing and you're trying to hit to your left arm just to feel that rotation of going through. Once you get that down though, you're going to want to keep that left arm up and then tuck. So when I serve, I'm going to tuck as I go up. I, am at, I use an analogy of swimming. You don't swim when somebody's swimming. They don't swim with one stroke and then the other. It's alternate. The shoulder turn, right? The shoulders are turning together. 
right? So as this is moving, this is moving. So if you can focus on that on the serve, you're gonna be a lot better. So I throw the ball up and now I tuck and I'm over. Now I'm looking over my right shoulder and letting the racket kind of swing across. That allows that big shoulder turn. So the left arm, again, the non-dominant arm is really important. I just see a lot of players throw the ball up and immediately drop their arm and now it's just an, now it's the right arm doing all the work. You wanna be able to turn, look over and be here. I love watching Roger Federer do this because he does a lot of effortless swing. Like he can be here and he's just relaxed and does his shoulder turn and he makes the ball, he's able to hit the ball in consistently without any arm problems. That's why he's 36 and still kicking butt. So again, those two strokes again, left arm here and on the forehand and left arm out with the tossing arm, okay? So in opposite obviously if you're left-handed. But the main idea is try to get that shoulder turn and you're gonna feel, not only your arm isn't gonna hurt as much, you're gonna feel like, wow, my stomach is sore, which is a good thing. I mean, we're playing tennis to get a workout, right? So we're turning our stomach more and our shoulders rather than having pain in our joints or places where we really shouldn't be having them. Now it's a workout and you're enjoying it more. And also you're gonna get a lot better. You're not gonna get as tired, you'll be able to hit the ball harder, and it's gonna be a lot better for you. So give it a shot, and hopefully that'll help those arm problems.